That's just my nature, baby, that's just my nature, ayy If you bout buzzing it open, then give me a call Bitch, I'm a player, say this stack in that paper, ayy Stay focused on the money, what I think about What you looking at, girl, go deep down Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, LOS, a.k.a. Carlos Coming at you guys with another video to um, give you an insight on the uh, my camera stabilizer that I use to shoot my music videos um, I got the Zion Zion stabilizer the box that comes in. So I gotta make them sound effects every time I do stuff, like I throw stuff or I zoom all that. Yeah. Anyway, the box that comes in. Um, I ordered it. I forgot what side I ordered it on, but I know I ordered it. Probably forgot how much it cost. It was so long ago. I know it's a couple hundred dollars, maybe six hundred dollars, something like that. It's worth it though, because you don't want your video footage being all shaky and stuff. Like it was just shaking just a minute ago. You don't want your video footage to be all shaky when you're shooting videos, because because it just looks amateur. So you need that to be stable with the stabilization. Let me open it up. Let you see what it looks like on the inside. Comes like that. They did a pretty good job on this. You know, you got your battery. These batteries can be ordered online and they can be recharged. In the wall, you can recharge them. The little light will turn blue when they're charged up. If they're red, it means they're dead or if they're uh, yellow. But, uh, but yeah, they're rechargeable. They come with the charging cord here. Plug them into your USB cord on your charger. Plug them in the wall, charge them up. Goes the actual stabilizer itself. Ta -da! See, pretty cool. This is what I put my camera on. I sit the camera right here. Um, just the bottom piece right here. What you do here is put the batteries in. Plug it in the bottom. Twist it on. Forgot to find this. This is very important. This is so you can put on the bottom to connect your camera onto it. Camera here, I'll give you a little video on that later. Later, it's a, a Canon, Canon T6 is what I shoot with. I went and I got the Canon T6 camera because um, I felt like it was a pretty good camera and it shoots pretty good videos, at least for a starter. You know, I'm not, I haven't been doing video making for years and stuff, maybe about a year, maybe a year. But I, um, I've been rapping for years, but I just started shooting my own videos because I felt like it, with the amount of videos that I was planning on shooting, with the amount of music I plan on doing, felt like it was a cheaper route to go. Just buy my own stuff. This, you, um, this is the, uh, you screw it on to the bottom of your, of your uh, stabilizer like this. Twist it. Gotta make the sound effects. If you don't do that, it ain't gonna work. Twist this up so that it stays stable and tight. I think I'm doing this right. Give me a second. You wanna make sure this is twisted all the way down and then twist this part into this so that it can stay stable using that anyway is to balance your camera on here once you get your camera stable where it needs to be at then there's really no need for this part so you can take it off after you get your uh, camera stable little camera button there is on there see the camera there, there's buttons on there and you have a camera button there you got the up and down button to go up and down and you got the different mode button to change to change the modes whether you want it to if you want it to be in the follow mode where it follows you, like if I turn left, then it'll slowly turn left with you. I turn right, it slowly turns right. Mode where everywhere you turn, it'll turn that way automatically. Or you can have it in a selfie mode. So yeah, I hit the button and it stabilizes itself. It lets me know where this is supposed to be. So then I turn it off. I turn it back off it has told me how it's supposed to be positioned and it's supposed to be positioned like that. So then I put my camera on there. You can loosen the bottom of this up because it has these little knobs here. 
these knobs. You can loosen them up so that you can move this around. This little part here, because it has knobs. So then you take your camera, which has a hole at the bottom. Get your little screw thing that I was told you that's very important. Put that underneath it. So, once you get it like that, you want to self-adjust it until it's not falling all over the place by itself like this. If I let it go, it falls. I want it everywhere it wants to stay at to where it's going to stay still like, ah. see, I'm not touching it. It's staying still straight. Boom. That means, so then you tighten it up in that location that it's at, lefty loosey, righty tighty, whatever one it is, tighten it up so that it's real tight so that it won't move so that the uh, stabilizer doesn't have to work hard to get stable because if if it's all lopsided and it's not already adjusted and if you don't do this part first then your uh, stabilizer will work too hard and, and it'll wear out your uh, gears inside the stabilizer and it'll probably break down faster and sooner and then you have to buy another stabilizer so then once you get it adjusted to where after you get it adjusted to where it's pretty stable by itself, then you can take it off of this uh, this thing here. You know, you can take it off of this because you already got it where you needed it. But then, you know, I don't need to take it off, but I'll take it off to just show you what I'm talking about. Hold it where it's supposed to be stable at to where you can see how, how you want it. Then press the camera button that has a little picture of the camera. Press it, hold it down, it'll blink a couple times, and it pops on. And look, it's stable by itself. Then you can turn, see it's in the follow mode right now. Let me press the mode button one time, and now turn it, and look, it's staying still in the same position. So no matter how I turn it, it's not gonna turn with me, because I pressed the mode button two times. There's also a button on the top right there, that you can use to adjust to make it look down and to make it look up you just push the uh, circle button up or down and it'll look up and down it's pretty cool look it can go to the right also and the left you know what I don't even know if I knew that it did that I don't use it enough <laughs> I need to shoot more videos as you can see that's all I gotta say about this um, stabilizer it's pretty cool like I said, I haven't mastered it all the way yet. There's some things that I still don't know about it, but I like it. That's all I got to say today about the Zion stabilizer. Good for video shooting. You can walk with it. You can hold it like that, come up on people's shoes and go all the way up. You know, you can walk around with it. I'm sure you've seen people shooting videos with these and um, they're very handy, not too bulky, easy to easy to take with you wherever you go. And um, I like them. I'll let you go out, it's your boy LOS, man. Just giving you an insight on what I got going on. Till next time, peace. Hey, you cheat, never match up. Match up. Just take it to the floor and bring it back up. When I hit it from the back, call me master. Ass so fat, make a nigga won't snatch it. Hey, game so tight that it won't fail. Got five bitches waiting at the hotel. hotel. Gotta stay low key like a dope sale. You can't even trust these hoes like they won't tell. Don't got much time for the hold up. Hold up. Goon by my side when I roll up. Pipe down when you yeah. reckon all swole up. You don't wanna catch that flunk to fold up. Boy,